Hey guys, so uh, I'm going to uh, give you my review of this uh, SSD aux winch here. I pulled uh, some pretty serious weight with it, so stay tuned for the whole video footage on that. But I want to make a note before I even start that uh, after I was done my testing, I realized that the four screws here on the bottom that hold the base plate onto the other parts of the winch, these four screws right here, you better take out these four and put Loctite in them because uh, after I was done trying to tear this off of the roof, uh, I realized that I had loosened them pretty severely. So you might want to take those out first before you try some kind of crazy winch tricks like what you're about to see right now. All right, I'm up here uh, standing on this ladder. And uh, today we're going to test out the SSD aux winch. You can see here I uh, screwed it onto this uh, board on the edge of our mezzanine. I have it wired into a Heyo K wireless winch controller, which is running on a three cell 3200 battery. I checked the battery voltage on this and we're pretty much exactly three volts or four volts per cell. So I've got a full proper 12 volts there. Uh, this um, comes with this uh, key fob really simple like it's you push a for in and b for out sort of thing i mean it's that easy and um, what i did with the winch is i put on the winch line that it came with i just sort of tied it on to there there's holes in the in the winch spool for that and i soldered the wireless controller right onto it um, it's a standalone unit from hey okay and so uh, you just plug it in it comes with the deans you just plug it right into your battery or whatever and instead of putting a hook right on the winch line uh, that comes with the winch. I actually just made a loop and then I'm going to uh, put my monstrous toe straps in here. These uh, have a really nice big smooth chain loop on them and that will be really strong. So now what we're going to do is measure up some trucks. We're going to get the weight of a couple of trucks uh, and then we're going to tie them all together and see how much weight this thing will actually pull because uh, I really don't know. So we're going to find out. Um, I guess first things first, let's find out what this weighs. This is uh, probably one of the heaviest trucks that I have. This is my fiberglass body F-150. Um, let me see if I can get this on the scale here. Okay. This truck weighs... 33.50 let's just say so the big Ford weighs 33.50 uh, here's a factory ascender I'm afraid I might rip something off of that so maybe I'll get a different truck um, the uh, the Raven number three is probably the perfect candidate here because it's actually still covered with this concrete mud that it received at Motorama uh, US scale trials championship and this is a heavy buggy so let's get that on the scale it's uh, I know I'm not gonna rip anything off of it when I tie a bunch of trucks onto it so this one is 36.50 so we've got a 33.50 and a 3650 and because I'm going to forget that I'll write it down we have a we have a 3650 uh, so let's tie this on here and see what happens I'm going to just wrap my strap around the frame rail here and see what I can do Let me see if I can set up this camera without having any tripod for it. All right, we're going to tie this on to, there's a bunch of heavy bolts here in this frame. This is a single rail leaf spring chassis, C-channel, and it's pretty strong. And if I can 
get my loop in there, then I'll be all set. There we go. We'll get that evened out there. All right. So I tied my tow rope in there. I hooked it onto the double loop. And uh, we will see what happens here. Let me get my key fob here so I can push the button. All right, let's try this out. I'm gonna hold it just in case it falls off. So, no problem with down. No problem with up. It's pretty fast actually, it's kind of surprisingly fast. So, let's hook up the second truck on here. And then we'll have seven kgs of craziness. I will tie this on to here. And then we should be able to hook this onto the rail of the Jeep. Wow, this thing is really muddy. Maybe I should have washed it. I'm not really sure. Probably not. It's pretty gross. So, we're going to tie the Jeep on here. I'll tie it right around the axle housing and the links and all that. And hopefully that's a strong enough spot. There we go. So, there's the uh, tow strap here around the axle housing. And I looped it together here right onto the, bo the bottom of the C-Max frame. There's like a bracket that does the body mount in the back here and that, I don't think that'll shear off so we'll use that. And uh, tow strap and then up to the winch. So let's see what we get when we try that this time. Uh, we should be able to come down now. It goes pretty fast. That's no problem. Now we'll go back up. It's definitely slower, but I mean we're deadlifting seven kgs worth of trucks here. Um, I think it's probably strong enough. And at, at seven kg deadlift, it's actually pretty fast. So I'm satisfied. I don't think I'll be doing anything as crazy as that, except maybe now. Um, let's see if we can bring it back down. Uh, maybe we will hook a power drill on it. Let's see what this weighs. I might be able to get this to sit on there too. So there's another 2400 grams. Maybe we can just stick this power drill over top here. So I think at this point the test of this setup is actually the screws holding it in the roof and or the winch completely ripping off of the winch mount. Um, I'm going to kind of support this with my hand hoping it doesn't actually fall down and I get stabbed by a screwdriver bit. So let's see what happens if this doesn't break. So now we're up to uh, another 24 something. Uh, and that gives us um, six, eight, nine, nine and a half kgs. Uh, let's see what we get with that. So that's definitely no problem for the winch or the controller. That's the Jeep and the big Ford 
and a power drill. And uh, we'll try going up. Yeah, well, I have no problem with that. So I think that's a pretty tough winch. Let's just go up top with the ladder and see if anything's caught on fire. Um, the winch is pretty much completely cold. And uh, I think you could almost play a guitar on that rope line now. And the controller's totally fine. I mean, this is this setup seems to be pretty bomb-proof. So I'm pretty happy with that. That's... Uh, an aux winch with a three cell on a Hale K wireless controller, a power drill, an F-150, and a Cross Canyon Jeep. Um, I think it'll probably do just fine on the trail. Happy riding.